With Peplink's new firmware version 8.2.0 comes a new feature called InTouch. This allows folks to access IP-based devices that sit behind their Peplink router. It works by leveraging Speed Fusion Cloud, which means you must have an active Speed Fusion Cloud connection. We want to test this out to see how well it works. In our example, we are accessing our remote power IP switch, Model UIS 622B, on a BR1 Mini. This device helps to monitor our router's WAN connection as well as local devices on the network and reboot their connection as needed. We're starting our InControl2 account at InControl2.peplink.com. I'm at my BR1 Mini device page, which I get to by selecting my organization, followed by the group the BR1 is saved within. I'm here at the Client tab, looking at the IP switch on my network. Take a look under Action to the right and you should see the button for In Touch. Click this to begin. A new window will open. This is where we'll configure the In Touch rule. The rule will default to the name of the device, but this can be changed by clicking on the name. The IP address, known as the URL on LAN here, is filled in automatically. Group name can be filled in optionally. You may also allow other in control users access if desired. Click OK to save the configuration when you're done. On the next page, click Save Changes. This will complete the process. Now that we've added our device, we can access it from the Device Details page or Group Overview page. Shown here is the Device Details page. Note the new In Touch button. We'll click here to select the IP switch outlet we just added. A new page will open and will be connected to the Web Administration page of the IP switch. Note that you can also set In Touch up manually by going under the Settings tab and selecting In Touch. Then just click Add and you'll see the same configuration window open where you can fill in the device name and IP address information. For more helpful videos like this, please subscribe to our channel.